5G technology. What it is, is the next generation of mobile devices that allow for faster connectivity and more efficient networking. What the actual physical devices will do is they'll consume less power, which will be more efficient uh, and consumer friendly in the long run, and will eventually be better for the environment as it will have a lower energy impact. Uh, physical devices, uh, while they're smaller, they will be uh, tighter uh, in terms of geogra uh, geography, and it will create this uh, wide web of connection uh, for the phones and other devices that are using it. What this will allow is it will allow devices to very quickly, efficiently uh, talk to each other and allow for new technology previously thought impossible, at least in this way. Uh, for instance, self-driving cars. Uh, the cars around on the road will be able to communicate to each other very quickly, um, very efficiently, without stutter. Um, and this communication will allow them to know where each other are on the road, uh, prevent collisions, and allow them to control speed and the like, uh, know if there's issues up ahead, uh, so on and so forth. Um, so, like any new emerging technology, there are ethical, um, legal, and other such issues. Um, for instance, uh, 5G, it's thought to eventually create a heavy reliance on cloud computing, computing because uh, you will no longer have to rely on physical storage as it will be fast enough to efficiently store things in the cloud and then pull it down to your device. Where it's said now, you want to store larger files on your device so you can access it quicker as the download would take longer. Um, the problem with this is that the information is leaving the physical device and it's going to uh, some sort of serval, server, whatever company you're using to store it. Um, these security risks, one of which is for hospitals in the future, um, that the, you know, the, the medical files will be stored outside of the hospital. Uh, which has legal implications with um, HIPAA laws and the such. Um, the other issue is if a server is across a country border, uh, it, it poses security risks for information to be leaving one country and entering into another, because who knows who might have access depending on the laws in this other country. Um, there's also privacy concerns, as because things are going to be on these servers, which are owned by companies, Technically, they're in the company's possession, um, something of which we have now, uh, where what that company does with the information, uh, we, there might be new uh, legislation that must be created to limit the um, amount that they can look at it or amount that they can sell it or share it and so forth. Um, the final real huge issue is um, another security risk with other countries. Um, this one specifically has been ongoing uh, with China and their company, um, which have been pushing to create the networks for other countries. So they create the physical devices, they build the network. Um, and the security concerns with this is that they would have access to the network. Um, they would be the ones who know how it works. So you, presumably you'd have to go to them uh, for any maintenance. But it also creates the concern that they can build in their own back doors to this network and allow them to just access it. And anything going to the data stream, they can pull it, download it, it's, it's theirs to steal, really. Um, so this poses concerns not only for, for governments with their uh, security risks and their own secrets, but also for companies who are uh, creating new products and they're sharing the ideas back and forth. Uh, spending millions to develop whatever they're developing, say a pharmaceutical company with a new drug, um, it goes across and it gets pulled down by another country, and then they can create their own version without having to sink any money into development. Um, despite all these potential issues, um, if done safely, securely, effectively, uh, 5G was going to be really important. Telecommunication is what creates our global economy. It allows us to share ideas, it allows us to simply communicate more effectively from larger distances, um, and being able to do this faster and more effectively will revolutionize our world.